guys, as promised, I'm going to be doing a guinea pig diet video. First, I'll be going over what should be inside your guinea pig's food bowl every day. Okay, so as you can see here, I got some artisan lettuce. Um, you're not supposed to have iceberg for your guinea pigs because of the low nutritional value. And it's just like water and a crunchy lettuce leaf. And... They say for you not to give that to your guinea pig. So, what I have here is just some purple, red lettuce, and then some fluffy green stuff and regular green lettuce. Now, what the sheet here I have is guinea pig diet sheet. You can find anything on, if you just look it up on Google, you can find websites with these sort of lists for vegetables and fruit that you can have. Um, I don't know what website this is from, I just found it when I was searching for this sort of stuff. But you can easily just print it out and then put it on your refrigerator. And then every time you fill your guinea pig's food bowl, you can just take a look at this and then you know um, what you can give them after looking in your fridge and all that. So I'll just scan down the list. Now the cool thing about this uh, particular list is that it says exactly how much your guinea pig can have as one serving. Now um, from this website it says that you're supposed to have three different servings of vegetables every day. Um, since I don't have that many vegetables at one time, I usually do about two, which is usually lettuce or carrots. They should always have some kind of leafy green. Um, and I definitely agree with that statement. So, but if you see right here, it says romaine lettuce. No iceberg or light colored leaf, like it says there. Um, two leaves. So, I'm going to go in here, pick some lettuce. By leaf, they just mean... This is one. This actually has some dirt in it, so I'm going to have to clean it up. Rinse under the lettuce under the faucet. And then, this is two. Okay, so now that I got the lettuce in the bowl and it's all rinsed off, um, I'm going to look back on the list because the other thing that I have here is carrots. Now it says under carrot, one to two baby carrots, or equivalent. So um, what they mean by or equivalent is like if you had a full carrot, then just kind of guess what one to two baby carrots would be and cut it up to be that size. So since Sophie eats a lot, I'm going to give her two carrots. I'll put that in there. I actually wrote it on myself, but it requires that every day you should have an eighth of a cup of guinea pig pellets. Now I'd like to talk about the hay. So, right here I have Western Timothy hay, and this is by Oxbow. And, um, this is actually a new kind. I just got this a few days ago, because I ran out of my... I bumped the camera, sorry about that. Um, I usually give her the Katie Timothy Hay, but I ran out, and I was looking for a big bag like this in the Katie, but they were all out, so I ended up getting this stuff instead. And actually, I think this stuff is actually a little better, because if I open it up, you'll see... Um, I don't know if you use the Katie or the Oxboa, uh, but compared to the Katie, 
this is a lot more natural looking. Um, I did like Katie a lot. I can't lie. But I actually kind of like this stuff even more. Because it's just nice and natural looking. Because it's all bendy. But the Katie stuff seemed like it was all straight like this. Now it's like all of the Katie Timothy hay. So, um, this stuff is more leafy and stuff, and that's what my guinea pig actually likes. So I'm probably going to switch over to this brand, actually. Okay, so a couple things i like to mention is that I did get a new hay rack, because my original tissue box actually cracked. And I bent a grid, put some chloroplast behind it, with, tied it up with zip ties, and then I binder clipped a, this bent grid and used it as a hay bin. This will be my first time using it, so you guys get to see how it works. Um, one thing about the Timothy hay, guinea pigs, um, guinea pigs that aren't pregnant or babies need Timothy hay, but then guinea pigs that are pregnant or are babies need alfalfa hay, and those are, it's very important that you get them the right hay. The last thing your guinea pig needs every day is water. So that's it for my guinea pig dive video. If you liked it, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.